So I don't want to judge this girl, and I hope that my video won't come off as judgy, but I think that the whole outrage and why this Christian BBL thing is trending is for the fact that she put Christian on BBL. I don't think people really care, as I'm reading the comments, like, you can do what you want with your body. It is really between God and you, you know what I mean? Because a lot of times we could be doing things behind closed doors that may not be godly. But I think when you put Christian on something like a BBL or a surgery, I think that's what's turning people off about the whole ordeal. And um, even listening to her explanation as she was saying why she went about it, I just, I still feel like in a way, this could be a learning conversation, a talking point. Because we do have to agree that the biggest flex is the revelation and the transformation of your mind. You know what I mean? As soon as you turn off the TV, the Instagram, the social media, you no longer care about how you're supposed to look. You know what I mean? Like, and I think that's the problem. We see these beautiful, baddie Instagram models 24-7, and we feel like we don't look as good. We feel like we look basic. But at the end of the day, that's just like kind of, I don't know, a mirage in my opinion. It's not all that it at that it, uh, it's not all that it seems and I honestly feel like I don't know about y'all but don't y'all feel like the baddest girl sometimes that that's like supermodel beautiful pretty be the ones that be like single and lonely but your everyday average and not trying to down everyday average but you know your, your regular girl next door girl be like wifed up like I really feel like that's what I be seeing <laughs> when I really think about like if I had to do a comparison and it's not always the case on either side but it do seem like you know I don't know I just guess I feel like I <sighs> It's so many things unpacked. Okay, so a part of me do feel like if all the men went away to Mars or something like that, there would be no women going to surgery, getting their boobs done, this and that. Because, like, for the most part, we know that we're more than our outside body. So I do feel like BBL culture and stuff like that is somewhat a way to fit this mold, this aesthetic that certain men want. And I feel like I don't even want to be attracted to that kind of guy that's only looking at my hips, dips, and body, body, you know, like my legs and hips. And but like, I, come on now, you know, like that's too much pressure. Cause I feel like once that BBL booty starts to drop, he may leave me, you know, I just don't want to, I don't mm, <laughs> like, I understand that we're supposed to be attractive and beautiful, but that's not about to be my selling card. That's not about to be my whole entire thing like you gonna like me for me <laughs> with a little tummy a little this a little stretch marks yes that's how it's gonna be <laughs> and I just feel like that is the biggest flex to love yourself the way that you're supposed to look now if you want to change it you can change your body this or that and that and this like that's not the issue but like I said I really think if um sophiology would have just came on and said she got a bbl and then put the christian on top of it people wouldn't be upset you know i almost feel like it's like saying i got a christian only fans like i don't know you just got to be careful what you put like the name of god on and that's the only thing i will say you know what i mean um yeah because, you know, God is holy, God is righteous, and I just feel like BBL is not really a, I'm not going to say it's not a godly thing, but it's, where did that come from? You know, it's just about, like, your your appearance, your outer work, and, you know, like the scripture always say, well, not always say, but you know how the scripture say, like, be renewed by the uh, the renewing of your mind, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That's the only BBL we need, spiritual BBL. And again, like, um, I see somebody write a similar comment on sociology, and people were coming at that person saying, like, she was being judgmental. So that's when I'm like, oh, my gosh, I don't want people to think that I'm being judgmental or anything like that because, like I said, you could do what you want with your own body, and we're not here to judge that. But I just do think that we should, like, be mindful. Let me not say careful. Mindful of what we put Christian on like how we use that you know um you know what we parent that with I think it should be basically what we can find in the bible you know so just match it up make sure it's all matching up and of course the bible didn't talk about bbl so that's why I'm like mm -mm, I wouldn't even put christian and bbl in the same sentence uh and say that's what I got and she went into details and said what she really got was lipo and 
uh, she got a fat transfer into her hip. So, you know, even me, I'm like, oh, that's not that bad. People are getting all in the uproar about that. But I think it's just was the whole thing with putting a Christian on it. Because even I was curious, like, what is a Christian BBL? Like, I don't know if that was her doing clickbaity stuff or what you would call it, but it, it piqued my interest. And at first, I really wasn't going to talk about it because I seen I'm subscribed to Sophiology. I seen the video. I was like, oh, let me keep scrolling. Cause, mm-mm. cause I'm, I'm, um, trying to be team gym life, and sometimes I fall off. But like I said, I really do feel like the flex is always in your mind. Being able to walk like you got a BBL, you know what I mean? Walk like you a five star chick, regardless of however you look. I really do feel like that is the flex, and I feel like those are the women that glow and shine to me. You know, you ever see like a woman that's just like in her her element, like. She, she's just living it and just, you know, you feel that energy and she may not be uh Rihanna bad or Beyonce bad. And not to say that she may not, that she, she gotta be, but you know what I'm trying to say? Like, you be like, wow, it's something about her aura, aura. And that's just like what I want to aspire to. And I think what also triggered me about the Christian BBL video was the fact that she was 25. And that's kind of scary to me too, because I'm noticing that younger and younger women want to change how they look. That ain't necessary. Uh Uh-uh. You is young. All you got to do is go to the gym, do what you need to do, and maybe your hips may not be bigger, but you want to look how you are supposed to look. You know what I mean? Um, Not an exaggerated version of yourself, unless that's what you want. You know, I'm okay with that, but I just feel like, you know, give yourself time to grow. And as life, and I know, like, women in the comments will be able to understand, because a lot of y'all are older than me. Like, a lot of people that watch, um, you know, Love and Marriage Huntsville are, like, older women. And I know y'all can tell us. Time will have you see that men, (laughs) they just as finicky as they try to say women are. One day they like this, the next day they like that. But in the test of time, they all, at the end of the day, like women. No matter, in different shades, sizes, uh, statures, built. That's what I'm starting to learn, you know? (laughs) Like, as I'm getting older, I'm like, men going to like women, you know? And the ones that's trying to be, like, overly picky that are, like, men, I don't trust them. I really don't because at the end of the day, like real men know that women are going to come in all shapes and sizes and they be looking at us like ice cream and uh, what's the place called? Dunk- what's the place called that got all the ice creams? That's how men be looking at us. Like we all do not have to fit a certain standard or mold, you know, just be the best version of you. Present, present what you have attractively, no matter what it is. And I think that's just really what triggered me too. hearing that she's only like 25. I thought she was grown. And not to say that um, it matters the age, but sometimes I do kind of understand surgery. Like if you had kids or if you're older or something like that, like I I, I can kind of understand it then. But 25, girl, man, you see how men be online talking about like you, we hit the wall at a certain age. So you got to flex right there just by being younger. And it's just like, I don't know. We really got to dig down and figure out what makes us unique and not even for men, but for ourselves, you know? So it just, that's just what really triggered me and made me want to talk about this video. And like I said, I hope it didn't come off as judgmental because I'm on my own walk. Like all of us are, but I just think it was that part in particular. I'm not going to say what, you know, her walk with God should be or look like. I, that's not up for me to judge, but I do feel like, you know, got to be careful what you put the title Christian on that. That's my only thing. That was, that's what really prompted me to make this video. And she would just say she got a BBL and she prayed about it. I don't think people would be upset, but just putting Christian on it is what really put people in a tizzy. And then again, I don't, and you know, it's something about that where I, I was looking on Twitter and I felt like some people were making a mockery of it. And that's when I'm just like, uh, uh-uh, uh, no, like, I just really feel like, you know, the name of the Lord, uh, biblical things is very sacred and I don't like it when it's like being made fun of. And that's what started happening. So I said, you know what, let me just say my little piece. But honestly, let me know what y'all think in the comments. And I, it's almost making me want to do a sabbatical off of social media, period. And I kind of do. That's probably why I don't really struggle with body image like that. Not to say that it don't happen because I'd be wishing I was snatched by doing one squat. But I feel like because I'm not bombarding myself with social media and especially Instagram, seeing pictures of perfection, that I don't really feel a way about it. Like you gonna like you gonna like this right here, uh huh. 
you know, not gym body at all. You're going to like it. You know, that's what kind of energy I'm, I'm working on. That's my workout. <laughs> Telling myself that like the way I am is exactly how I need to be. Now, if I want to work on it and fix it, I can do that. But if not, I'm also that girl. So let me know what y'all think. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye. Medicine, quite a man, a girl was having sex. Medicine, quite a man, a girl was having sex.